when we build and train our machine learning models it's equally important to evaluate them so that we can find out if our model is accurate or not otherwise what is the point in building a model which doesn't give right predictions we evaluate the regression family of algorithms using techniques like um, root mean square error uh, mean absolute error r square adjusted r square but when it comes to classification family of algorithms we use uh, techniques like accuracy precision recall f1 measure roc curve etc to evaluate the corresponding machine learning model folks nitin here and this is the ai university channel in this video i am going to explain the concept of true positive true negative false positive false negative and confusion matrix before we jump on to the evaluation techniques like accuracy precision recall f1 measure roc curve etc so watch this video till the end if you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel or if you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century please hit the like button and help me reach 500 likes on this video if in case you like it now it's very important to set the foundation in order to evaluate these classification models so let me take an help of this picture to explain the concept please note that actual values at the top which are shown as 1 and 0 can be referred as true and false respectively the predicted values at the left which are shown in terms of 1 and 0 can be referred as positive and negative respectively if you see this quadrant here it shows the case of true positive here in this picture there is a woman and a doctor just now gave a news to her that she is pregnant since women can be pregnant and in this case she is actually pregnant so this case can be referred as true positive in the other words when the test says you have it and you actually have it then it is called as true positive now let's move on to the upper right quadrant where you would see that there is a man and a doctor who is telling him that he is pregnant since man cannot be pregnant and doctor is telling him that he is so this case can be referred as false positive or type 1 error now let's move on to the lower left quadrant here in this picture there is a woman and a doctor who just now gave a news to her that she is not pregnant but in actual she is pregnant so this case can be referred as false negative or type 2 error now let's move on to lower right quadrant where you would see that there is a man and a doctor who is telling him that he is not pregnant since man cannot be pregnant and doctor is indeed telling him that he is not pregnant so this case can be referred as true negative in other words when the test says you don't have it and you actually don't have it then it is referred as true negative case now let me explain this concept from a machine learning perspective let's say we have two classes of data if the target variable has value as 1 then it is depicted as positive class and if the value of target variable is 0 then it is depicted as negative class so when a data point is classified or predicted as negative class or class 0 and it is actually a negative class or class 0 then this type of case is called as true negative moving on to true positive case So when a data point is classified or predicted as positive class or class 1 and it is actually positive class or class 1 then this type of case is called as true positive moving on to false negative case so when a data point is classified or predicted as negative class or class 0 but in actual it is a positive class or class 1 then this type of case is called as false negative or type 2 error moving on to false positive case so when a data point is classified or predicted as positive class or class 1 but it is actually negative class or class 0 then this type of case is called as false positive or type 1 error one important thing to remember here is that type 1 error is less dangerous than type 2 error because if you say that something is not going to happen but it actually happens and you are not prepared for it then it is definitely more dangerous let's move on to another concept which is confusion matrix 
so confusion matrix measures the effectiveness of our model the better the effectiveness the better the performance would be and that's exactly what we want so we can say that confusion matrix is a performance measurement for machine learning classification problem where output can be two or more classes it is a table which consists of four different combinations of predicted and actual values it is extremely useful for measuring recall precision specificity accuracy and most importantly auc roc curve as the name suggests we are going to build some sort of matrix here so we have predicted a dependent variable values at the top which depicts whether a particular event is going to happen or not we represent these values as y hat on the left hand side we have actual values which are represented by y and which depicts whether an event actually happened or not now both of these predicted and actual variables has two types of values which are 0 and 1 so let's start with the quadrant where we have actual value or y as 1 and predicted value or y hat is also 1 which is a true positive case so let's say we have uh, 100 such observations then we have this quadrant which has both predicted and actual values as 0 or true negative case in this quadrant let's say we have 50 such observations now let's move on to the quadrant which depicts false positive or type 1 case or type 1 error case let's say we have 10 such observations and finally we have this quadrant which depicts false negative or type 2 error case let's say we have 40 such observations here so this confusion matrix is giving us a snapshot of effectiveness or performance of our classification model now these diagonal values or observations which are highlighted in light blue squares are the ones we predicted correctly the other diagonal values or observations which are highlighted in light green squares are the ones which we were not able to predict correctly and hence referred as errors we need to have less number of observations in this diagonal in order for our model to perform better based on this matrix we can calculate the accuracy as total correct observations divided by total number of observations hence here our uh, accuracy will come as 100 plus 50 divided by 200 equals to 75% so the accuracy is 75% here we can calculate the error percentage as 10 plus 40 divided by 200 which is equals to 25% here now one important thing to remember here is that we should not base our judgment on the basis of accuracy only and hence we need to see certain other metrics as well which i am going to explain in the upcoming videos so here is today's question is false negative a type 1 error or type 2 error please post your answers comments in the comment section given below so that i can get a chance to incorporate your feedback you can also post your technical questions in the comment section and i will try to answer the same if you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel consider clicking that little subscribe button In case you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video so keep on watching. Thank you.